Welcome back to Walnut Springs. My name is Mike and today I want to show you how easy it is to do a lever bleed on your Shimano brakes. Let's get to it. The tools that you're going to need today are a 2.5 millimeter Allen key, a 4 millimeter Allen key, a bleed cup, some brake fluid, in this case it's mineral oil for Shimano brakes, some alcohol to clean up afterwards, and just some paper towels to help with that cleanup process. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is adjust this lever to make this to where it's going to be as level as possible whenever you go to put the bleed cup on. This is just going to use a four millimeter Allen key, and then you just undo the Allen key bolt, and then it should allow you to rotate it up into a decently level position. Doesn't have to be absolutely level, just level enough to where you don't have to worry about the fluid spilling out of the cup. Now that the lever is level, let's go ahead and take our 2.5 millimeter Allen key and pop this bleed screw off. It should pop off real easy. Just make sure you hold on to it and put this in a safe place whenever it comes off. Now that the bleed screw is off, we can take our bleed cup and we can thread this on. This should just thread on real easily. Most of these cups are plastic, so just be careful with the threads. You don't want to strip them out. Now that you've got this in place, you can just leave this little plug in place for the time being, and we're going to fill this up with some brake fluid. Now we can go ahead and fill up the cup with some brake fluid. You don't have to fill it all the way up. I usually do about halfway or a quarter way full for a lever bleed. This is just some finish line brake fluid. It's the mineral type specifically made for Shimano brakes. So let's go ahead and pour some of that in here. You wanna try your best to not spill this on anything, especially your brake rotors. If you got this on your brake rotors, you would need to clean them thoroughly. Now that we've got the fluid in the cup and the cup is on here securely, we can go ahead and remove the little stopper, just like that. Set this aside in a nice clean area. Now that we've got the stopper out, let's go ahead and we can just start squeezing our brake lever and you should start to see bubbles start to come out. You just wanna do this until the bubbles stop coming out. You'll feel your brake lever get a little bit tighter as you do this. One thing I like to do is hold the lever for quite a while. You can even go through and you can tap the lines just to make sure that no air actually is still in the lines. One other trick you can do if the lever bleed does not actually feel like it's doing its job is you can leave this sitting with the lever pulled really tight for several hours or overnight. And by doing this, it's leaving that open and eventually all of those bubbles will come up through the line over time and then exit through this cup. You just really wanna make sure whenever you do this, you have your bike in a place where it's not gonna have any contaminants fall into this cup or that anybody's gonna bump into it. Now definitely make sure that whenever you're doing these lever bleeds that this cup never gets empty or that it never tips over to where air could be introduced back into the system. You always want a decent buffer of fluid between the brake lever and the top of the cup. Now that we've done the lever bleed and you're satisfied that no more air bubbles are coming out, you can simply just take your stopper and plug this back into the cup. Once you've got that in there, now you're ready to pull this off of the brake lever. So just twist this counterclockwise. Just be really careful not to spill this brake fluid in the process. And then also you wanna make sure that you get this little rubber ring on there. You don't wanna leave that inside your uh, brake lever. Now you can see the lever is really full of fluid. It will overflow a little bit, so you can have a towel ready to clean this up. But just take your bleed screw and pop that back into place. And that will thread in clockwise. Now that we got this in, wipe the excess fluid off. Go ahead at this time and take your rubbing alcohol and add it to the towel or spray it on the lever. 
Then you can wipe off the lever to make sure that you're not going to get any brake fluid on any other part of your bike. And there you go. Your brake lever should be nice and firm. You're ready to repeat this on the other side and then you'll be ready to ride. And there you go. That's how easy and quick you can do a lever bleed with your Shimano brakes with just some mineral oil. This process is really similar across several different brands. So don't think that this is just limited to Shimano. If you guys like this video, click that like button. Leave me a comment below. Have you guys ever done a lever bleed? Did you realize that it is that quick and that easy to do? Also, I will be putting some links down below to all the products that I used in this video. And if you use those links, it does come back and help out the channel at no additional cost to you. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. But as always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one.